Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna cover learning to navigate. Quick reminder, this lesson is from our complete intro to Blender course that we're offering for free for a limited time on YouTube. If you're new here, I'd recommend starting at the beginning of the course. I've added a link in the description. All right, go ahead and open up Blender and let's jump right in. In this lesson, let's talk about navigation. Now, before we do though, just a few more words about what we're seeing here on our screen. We have a file open here in Blender and it always will have a default cube in it. And that's this item here. And this orange highlight around it is because it's selected. And we'll cover more about selection later, but for now you just know that that's a cube and it is selected, that's that orange highlight. You'll also see there's a little orange dot, not all of this other stuff here, but just the tiny little orange dot in the middle. That's one important factor that we'll define later. And then there's this circle with these crosshairs. So the bigger circle here with the crosshairs, that's another thing called the 3D cursor. And that's different than the orange dot. It just so happens that they're in the same place right now. And again, we will cover that later. Just wanna point out those elements are two separate elements that we'll cover later that are right there at the heart of where that cube is. We also have red and green axes. These are the X and Y direction. So the X is the red, the Y is the green. And because we have three dimensions, there's an invisible blue axis. I say it's invisible. It's not that it's hidden or something. It's just not there. But if you think about whatever would be pointing up into the sky and down below the ground, that would be the blue or the Z axis. We also see that we have this grid of squares stretching across and this is the ground plane so it's kind of stretching off to infinity here now there are also two other elements within this 3d viewport you see this black set of lines here in triangle over here this is the camera we're not worried about that just yet we'll talk about that way down the line in future lessons but by default you always have a camera in your model that's different than the view you have. So right now we're looking at this cube from our view and then there's a camera which would be looking at it from a different view for the time being. And then over here, it's just barely up at the top of the screen with this dotted bit pointing down. That's the light source. So you always start with one light source or one light as well. And we're not worried about the camera or light for quite a while. So let's just leave those alone for right now. So here in this 3D viewport, the very first thing you're gonna to need to learn is how to navigate around your 3D space or around the model in Blender. Now, no matter what you'll be using Blender for later, whether it's 3D modeling, sculpting, texture painting, 2D animation, whatever it is, it's still going to be helpful to start with the idea of 3D modeling and navigating around 3D model space first that will help you learn all kinds of tools, tips, tricks, and hotkeys in Blender that will help you later, no matter what you're eventually going to use Blender for. So because navigating around the model is about 90% of the time, in between each thing you do in Blender, you're navigating to some better view to do that next thing. So you actually spend so much of your time navigating. Let's tackle how to navigate right now up front. Now, if you're brand new to 3D modeling, you haven't used another 3D modeling program before, it's uncomfortable to learn how to navigate your way around a 3D space. So if you're used to a 2D space or you haven't even used a design software even remotely close to this, it's easy to skip over it because it's kind of difficult to do. But I really encourage you to work through and struggle and be uncomfortable right now. Get that out of the way and practice and practice and practice so that as you go forward, navigating will become second nature. Hey everyone, we're doing something a little unconventional here. And for a limited time, we're giving you access to one of our paid courses for free right here on YouTube. And this lesson is a part of it. Blender is a beast of a program to learn, but with the right approach, it doesn't have to be. That's why we created Blender Academy, to help people build the Blender skills they need and then go out and get the jobs they want. We hope you find these lessons to be a good investment of your time. If you do, and you're serious about learning Blender, head over to our website and continue learning with us. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And now, back to the lesson. Okay, let's jump into it. So with your three button scroll wheel mouse, the first thing I want you to do is roll your mouse wheel forward and backward, and you'll see that you're zooming in and out of the center here of this 3D model or this cube. You notice when I zoom out, you can see that camera object a little more clearly 
and you can see that light object a little more clearly. So rolling in and out is for zooming. Now, if you'd like to orbit, press and hold down on that center mouse wheel and move your mouse around and you begin to orbit in 3D. And again, you're orbiting about the middle there. So as you orbit around, you can orbit to where you're looking a little more top down or you can orbit and move your cursor up and you'll notice you can orbit beneath that ground plane and down near the bottom. And now you're getting a sense that that cube is halfway above the ground plane, halfway below it, and the middle of that cube is right where that X and Y axes would meet. Now you, you can also move the view. So first hold down the shift key on your keyboard, then press and hold down on the center mouse wheel like you're trying to orbit and move your mouse side to side, up and down, and you are moving your view, or you could think of it as panning your view from side to side or up or down. If you let go of that shift key, let go of that center mouse wheel, but then click back down on that center mouse wheel, then you're back to orbiting. So if you were to zoom way out and hold the shift key down and press down your center mouse wheel while holding down the shift key and move your view over, and then roll your mouse wheel back in to zoom in, you could easily lose track of your model. Now we know where it is, but let's just say you've continued to navigate around and maybe you've gotten yourself a little bit lost in 3D space. There's a shortcut to get you back to where you have everything in your view, and that's to press the home key on your keyboard. So if you don't have a home key on your keyboard, go up to the view menu here within the 3D viewport, just the menu right there, view, click on it, and pick the option for frame all, and that would be the same. That would frame everything in your shot so that you can see it again. So those are the three main things you can do. Roll your mouse wheel forward and back to zoom in and out. Hold down on that center mouse wheel and move your mouse around to orbit, or let go of that hold down the shift key, hold down your center mouse wheel button, and then move your view around or pan it around, and then let go. Now, if you don't have a three button scroll wheel mouse, or maybe you're just at some time using a trackpad and you don't have access to the mouse briefly, you can do some of these same things with the tool icons over to the right. So if you hover over this little gizmo here, this is the navigation gizmo, you'll see it says X, Y, Z, and then it has these others that if you hover over, they say minus X, minus Y, minus Z. But rather than clicking on any of those, just this bigger white circle that appears around them, if you click and hold down on it with your normal left mouse click and then move your mouse around, it allows you to orbit your view. So if you needed to orbit around, you could do that. If you come over to this icon here for zoom, it's a magnifying glass, click and hold down on it with the normal left click and move your mouse up and down to zoom in and out and then let go. And then this hand view, this is for moving the view or panning the view. If you, with the normal left mouse click, click and hold down on it and then move your mouse around, you can pan side to side up and down. Now there's more that you can do with the icons here, but that's enough for right now to know how to zoom, orbit, and move or pan your view with either the three button scroll wheel mouse or with your trackpad. Now, your job is to practice. I want you to try to get to particular views of this 3D cube. So for example, there's a back corner here that I can't see. How might I navigate around to get to the other side? Well, you could click and hold down your center mouse wheel and try to orbit in one big swoop and it's kind of sweeping off the side and I can't seem to quite get it for some reason. And that could be pretty frustrating. So here's my tip before you practice. With everything that you do, try it in small incremental navigations. So what I mean by that is rather than orbiting by holding down your center mouse wheel and keeping it held down and moving and saying, gosh, I can't figure out how to get over there that other corner, try this. So let go, no matter what you've done. Let's get this cube back into the middle of our screen. So hold down the shift key, hold down the center mouse button, that center mouse wheel, 
and move it over, move your view. You're not moving the cube, you're moving your view. And then you can let go of both those keys. Now let's say we wanna to get to the back corner that we can't see. Let's try small incremental orbits. So try this. Press and hold down on your center mouse wheel to orbit. Move your cursor to the right a little bit and let go. Then repeat, move your cursor back, hold down the center mouse button, move your cursor, let go. Repeat, hold down your center mouse button, move your cursor, let go. And then roll forward in small little incremental zooms. And we're really close to that back corner now. So small incremental navigation. It might seem like no big deal, you've already got it, but you really have to focus on this, especially when you're new to 3D modeling and navigating in 3D space, because you're going to find that your brain will kind of quit before you've gotten to a really good view. And then you're just gonna struggle to try to 3D model with that corner, maybe say way off on the side here, and you're gonna be trying to do something to it because somewhere in the back of your mind, you've quit on trying to navigate to a better spot. So holding down the shift key and the center mouse wheel to move my view over, now holding down only the center mouse wheel repeatedly, small incremental orbits, small zooms, small orbits, holding down the shift key as I press down the center mouse wheel, just lots of little small incremental navigations. And as you get really good with this, you'll find that you're doing them really quickly. And it almost seems kind of confusing to follow an expert who just knows how to do lots of little quick things to get where they wanna go. But pretty soon, you'll be able to make those small incremental navigations very quickly and get where you want right away. So I'm going to leave you with just trying to get yourself to the opposite corner of the cube, maybe trying to get really far away from the cube and putting it over on your far side of your screen for a moment, losing your way, pressing the home key to get back to frame your view. Try all of these things again and again, even if just for the next minute, before you move on to the next lesson, where we'll jump into how to understand a little bit about the 3D geometry that we're looking at. Congratulations, you made it through the lesson. Did you find this video to be helpful? Let us know by giving it a like. If you're ready for the next lesson, you can find it in this playlist. And if you're interested in learning more about how we can help you build the skills you need, head over to blenderacademy.com. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, happy blending.